Greetings. So here's a little um, thing that turned up on the microchip uh, board the other day, and it's um, about the question mark as to whether or not um, a dip uh, pick microcontroller works the same as a, a SOIC one, which um, got a SOIC one mounted on a little breadboard here, as you can see. And uh, the question is really is um, the, the um, original poster couldn't actually. Um, reprogram on the SOIC one but he could on the uh, DIP one. Now originally he was using a, a PIC kit 4 programmer. Now I you tried a PIC kit 4 programmer and I couldn't program either of them on a PIC kit 4 programmer and actually it's not a supported device at the moment. Um, it looks like it's a supported programmer for this particular device which is um, uh, the PIC 16F676. So I breadboarded up this little circuit board here um, supplying it with five volts. So I would just note that if you're not, is you if you're going to program this, give it five volts. Don't um, try and program it at lower voltages. I had difficulties uh, on some of these older picks trying to program it at lower voltages. So let's just go through the the circuit here. Got the ICSP, the in circuit um, serial programming, which is just here, and um, of course we've got the pick. That's just here and we've got the, the resistor that's just here and got the led which is just here of course a couple of decoupling caps there and there and uh there's a 10k pull up just here which um where did i put it on this diagram oh i didn't put it on this diagram well there's a 10k pull up anyway um on the m clear up to five volts uh, so this is my device. I've done a little um, program um, to see if we can show this working. So this is the program. It's just a little blinky program, and um, I'm just gonna see if we can program it. And uh, if I push the the programmer button, and we'll see it going through. I'll also show you that I've also hooked up a, a scope onto some of the lines. So the yellow trace is the M clear, and the green trace, I think, is the clock, the programming clock, and the blue trace is the data clock. So uh, that's the sort of thing that you should uh, you should see out of there. I'll just run another program again, because um, it looked like it triggered a little bit earlier than I expected, so it's going for another program. There we go. So you see it pulls M clear low. We also see some spikes that go up to about uh, 15 or 14 volts or so, which is the programming uh, voltage for this device. And then it sits there at, uh, at 5 volts, which is basically the pull-up. So the question is, did that program? Well, yes, it did. There's our little blinky. Everything's good. So the next question is, is what happens if we... I'll tell you what, I'm going to erase this first. So... I've got a little erase icon that I've added. This isn't this isn't there by default. Um, you have to add it there by. Um, I'll show you how you do it. You just go into here. You right click on the menu on the blank bit of the menu bar, customize, and then it comes up with a bunch of things. And you find it and you drag it onto. You drag the particular item onto your menu if you need to do that. So okay, that's erased it, and as you can see here, it's no longer flashing. Uh, that was what an erase looks like. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take off the 5 volts, unclip it, and I'm not sure I'm going to do this with one hand, but I'm going to try to rip out the dip. There we go. And I'm going to stick in the SOIC. Hopefully I get the, the pins aligned right. There we go. That's the the SOIC device. I'm not sure if you can actually see the that it is the, exactly the device that we said, but anyway, hopefully you can see that. And uh, see, it's not flashing at the moment because it's got no power. Let's stick some power on. There we go. Nothing going. And uh, see on the power supply, it's doing about five volts at about four milliamps or so. Uh, that normally reads up about a milliamp low, so um, okay. So now we're gonna do another program on here. There we go. Let's see, it's running. There we go. Let's see another program going. Deliver there. And there 
we go. And that is the SOIC programmed. And I'm just going to erase it again now. So push the erase button. There we go. There it is. Thinks it's erased it now, I think. There we go. And no more flashing LED. All right. Hopefully uh, that shows you that the SOIC and the DIP both work. Thanks for watching.